Hi Aries, welcome to your today's general reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. And Aries, please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Alright Aries, um, this is a general reading, right? So you can apply it however you like, whether it's in your love situation, family, friends, or your career. All right, spirits and angels, please show me accurate, important messages for Aries today. Show me more. There's this card that really wants to come out, and I'm going to take it. <laughs> okay. Eight of Cups is in reverse, and got the Queen of Cups here. I feel like um, this has something to do with your emotions, okay? Perhaps love situation. Eight of Cups in reverse, it indicates you're feeling still, you're looking towards the past still, can't quite move on, because you still love this person in your past, okay? Somebody in your past that you still love um, could be, uh, I feel like could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, can be anybody, okay? It can also be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here. I feel like Aries, for a lot of you with the judgment here, you realize the utmost importance of being um, independent and self-reliant and being secure, especially financially, okay? Something must have happened in the past that you feel like, hey, I need to seek for my own independence. Money is so important. Security is so important. Possibly for some of you, now pentacles could also indicate being single, okay? Maybe some of you, maybe, you know, maybe some of you think that perhaps I need to be single for a while, some of you, okay? But Nine of Pentacles, again, indicates somebody realizing that also that they need to take care of themselves, make themselves happy. Judgment is to me an awakening. So you awaken to the idea like, you know what? I need to take care of me. I need to make myself happy. So perhaps in the past, you could have been give, giving a lot to somebody or to anybody. You know, just very generous, giving a lot and just, you know, po possibly wearing your heart on your sleeves or just... I feel like I guess this is how we all learn. I feel like a lot of you have learned with the judgment here. It's like suddenly you realize it's like, well, you know what? I really need to take care of myself. My independence, my security is like paramount. And with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Swords here, um, and this could be an indication of no communication, okay? Um, Nine of Swords also, Swords could always, you know, it, could mean communication, uh, information, mm, could mean some knowledge as well, thoughts, you know, what you're thinking. I feel like Aries, um, there could be stress in regards of somebody from your past perhaps not communicating with you, whether you're not communicating, if you, whether you're choosing not to communicate with them or them not communicating to you. I feel like the Ace of Swords in reverse also could indicate something that is not clear, okay? So the fear of like the uncertainties as well, what's coming towards, um, what's going to happen to you in the future because it's actually seeing your future positions. Like, I can't see my future right now. I can't see it clearly. I don't know what to do. And I'm possibly having some anxiety. Okay, Aries, maybe you guys are feeling anxious. Um, but you realize, you know, I need to save myself. It's almost like I need to save myself before it's too late. And there's a lot of stress, anxiety in regards of either no communication for somebody from the past or stress in regards of not knowing what's going to happen to you in the future, okay? But don't worry because the eight of wands is here. So it looks like there will be some communication. If, be, if you've been expecting some communication, it's coming in. We're waiting for some news. Good news is coming in with the Eight of Wands here. And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, slowly you're going to recover from heartbreak, sadness, uh, of any sorts of ending, okay? Or betrayal for some of you. And with the Queen of Wands here in reverse, I feel like this could be an energy of maybe, this is actually your energy, right, Aries? 
fire. It's a Sagittarius Leo. You could be feeling like less than powerful right now, okay? You feel a little bit scared. I do sense a little bit scared and worried, if not a lot. Worried about, again, the future. What's going to happen? Can I actually make things happen? I feel like, you know, the Queen of Wands is usually very courageous when it's in an uh, upright position, but it's in reverse. So you don't feel like you dare to take uh, any action, whether it's towards someone or towards your future, towards anything. So you just have this fear of taking action because um, perhaps someone in your past or something that has happened to you in the past could have made you lose that confidence to take action. Perhaps there was some sort of a, a repercussion, okay? Um, we all make, make mistakes, okay? We all make bad decisions. I feel like um, this serves as actually a lesson, but a really good one, okay? I'm not saying that you're a bad person, um, but I'm just saying we, all of us, all of us have to go through things in order for us to learn and to understand or to know what, what, what we truly want or what we truly don't want. But I feel like whatever happened to you in the past could have traumatized you and it could have kind of crushed your self-esteem a little bit, if not a lot. I feel like this Ten of Swords here is pretty severe, I feel. And Five of Cups is here. So it indicates you are still mourning over the loss or a loss of, it could be somebody, um, a, love, a lover or an ex or, you know, it could be work as well. It could be anything, friendship, family something you used to love okay or someone you used to love or have emotions for for four ones here in reverse lack of stability but also indicates you guys are actually doing your best to fix it you know or trying to fix it some of you maybe you are considering going for counseling asking for help it could be spiritual help counseling at anything okay the chair is in reverse i feel like there is a lot of stuck energy aries a lot of you are fearful of what's going to happen to you in the future um whether things are going to work out or not i feel like things are going to work out in the end okay aries three of pentacles as long as you seek for help because there are three person here and these two are actually seeking counseling from the architect okay from somebody who knows better perhaps somebody who has more experience okay that's when all communicate something about you need to communi communicate communicate because it looks like you are keeping it deep deep inside that like you're crying at night and you are stressing out but it looks like you may need to communicate with people people whom are you know qualified to help you whether it's in terms of money or friendship or i mean love it could be anything all right but it looks like at least we've got the eight of ones it looks like help is going to be here but it looks like also that you need to seek for help okay aries Good news is coming in, okay? So don't worry too much. Aries, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting your videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Aries. Bye.